Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today it's all about vegetables in soupy form. We're gonna have creamy soups, uh, broccoli, cauliflower and tomatoes. So if you're a soup lover, stay tuned. Okay, hello and welcome. Special guest today, Yvonne. Hello. Thank Ooh. you so much for joining. So excited to be here. I hope you're a little hungry. I am hungry and I'm Good. hungry to learn. Perfect. Yes. Um, you, did they tell you you have to work here? Well, she told me that after I got here. I didn't know that before. Yeah, but that's her yeah. catch. She never I know. Says, I know. Like that. I know. So yeah. Really, yeah. I'm going to... No, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I made a tiny little appetizer for you. It Very is nice. a beet carpaccio with three color, color beets candied walnuts and Amazing. a bit of a balsamic glaze if you want to snack in the meantime. Am I allowed to Please. snack anytime. anytime? Anytime and always. I'm going to snack. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, while you're snacking or yes. in between, all we're going to do is cut up some mm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. mm, so far so, so good. good. Mm. The candied oh nuts. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. So good. Um, we're going to cut mm. up some vegetables. Mm -hmm. We'll use potatoes because if you want a, we're going to do three pureed soups okay. and I'm saying creamy as in creamy in texture not mm -hmm. necessarily with cream in it healthier healthier yes. if you choose to do that I'm a cream lover so mm -hmm. I can well, are we all but yes yeah. so we'll do one where we add some potatoes and I'm gonna add those to the cauliflower okay and awesome. the broccoli we will do a little bit of no we're not we're gonna do a little bit of cream with the tomato mm -hmm. and you can do a roux or we'll add some potatoes to the broccoli as well. So depending on what your approach is, what you like better, how much in a hurry you are when you cook. Right. You can get that creamy, thickish consistency by adding a potato to your vegetable. That's very good to know. Right? Yes. So go ahead, enjoy. Okay, I'm going to cut this snack. up. Okay, I'm going to snack. Let I me know when I need to work. Otherwise, I'm well, just going to... Well, you will uh, eventually have to get those potatoes done, you know. Do you want me to um, peel these potatoes? Please, yeah. So I can peel and eat. Yes, you can. These, these you are can multi glaze. These are so aren't they yummy? I delicious. Know, I know. Well, can you tell? Is sugar. it a secret? To, well, how do you do this? No, yeah. no, no. It's it's very simple. Mm -hmm. you, you just um, caramelize them. You put a little bit of uh, butter, mm -hmm. of course, and sugar mm -hmm. in a pan together with the nuts, and you stir and around. watch that they don't burn. And as soon as the butter and the sugar combine and yes. melt and caramelize that's mm -hmm. what you get and you take it out very quickly not to burn it and that's it wow yeah well very it's yummy. very fancy and I'm, very delicious well it tastes good it's it better really than does. candy yes and the beets i didn't even know there were three kinds of beets no? i'm sorry no yeah, I, I just thought the they were pickled colors. in a jar i had no idea there you go <laughs> lesson number one you i'm learning to learn you said. i did there we go absolutely you have to teach me a thing or two too because i hear you have talents that i envy <gasps> oh well my don't possess <laughs> Well, my greatest talent is that I love to talk. There so, we go. I mean, yes, I'm very good at it. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> no. But no. So what do you do when you don't peel potatoes? When I don't, well, I was a nurse for 27 years, and then I decided to write a book. And uh, I, from that, I have a very surprising new career of speaking and hosting my very own Rogers TV show with the lovely Deanne McCallum as my producer. Yeah, she's quite nice, isn't she? Hey? Well, we better yeah. say that since yep. she is listening. She's watching. Oh, isn't I know. she? Yes. Great. Yeah, she's yep. right somewhere there. She's extraordinary. I love her. And uh, I just, uh, it's called Real Life Talks. I just get okay. to interview wonderful people from around the community doing great things. And it's, That doesn't sound like work. That sounds no, like fun. No, it is like fun. Like cooking. It, talking. Cooking. Well, see, cooking like, to really? me, I'm, I'm trying to learn to embrace love cooking okay and and so you are teaching me this because well yeah it's it's not my love i want it to be my love well it's maybe important. maybe after we're done here you'll like a thing or two this is really simple this okay. is you can apply it to any vegetable you the process is always the same mm -hmm. we cook a vegetable until it's nice and soft you puree it you add some seasoning and you have a pureed creamy soup right it's very simple yes. so if it's broccoli or cauliflower or um, kale or spinach mm -hmm. or just potato anything goes or a tomato right the process is always the same and what I start with is I made some ahead I cheated a little bit mm -hmm. I made a, a mirepoix or a mix of um, onion um, celery you can probably smell it I have a bit of red pepper in mm. there carrot yeah. and um, saute that 
they are sauteed already. I didn't want to spend too much time on that. Right, but what did you call that, so, Esther? You said I made oh, a... A mirepoix is... is a, a mirepoix. See, I'm going to have to write down these fancy terms. Okay. Caramelized mirepoix. Yeah, see, I don't know these terms. <laughs> That's who I am. Yes. Well, no. I bet you have a few terms that I haven't heard before, so we can exchange. Secrets. Sounds good. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So, there you go. Two potatoes down. Not bad. One okay, more go. good. Yes. So I'm going to put the veggies in those pots mm -hmm. and add the broth, and then we're just going to let them cook away. So we just let these come to a boil, and they're going to simmer for about 20, 30 minutes, so they're going to turn nice and soft, and we can puree them after that. And in the meantime, we'll prepare the toppings for some of those soups. Still adding some potatoes. There you go, okay. how's that? Thank you. Perfect. How did oh. you know? Oh, good. This is perfect. Yeah, passed. Perfect size. <laughs> so what were we going to do? We were going to add potatoes to the cauliflower. Mm. We're going to add some to the broccoli or do a roux with that? We'll do a roux with that one. Mm -hmm. So you put the potatoes and the cauliflower in a broth? Yes. Can you tell me about the broth? Because I don't... I can. How do you, yes, I can. tell me about broth. This, this is a vegetable broth, but oh, feel good. free to use anything. You mm -hmm. can use beef broth if you want it to be really more substance. Right. right. Or a chicken broth. I'm using a vegetable broth mm -hmm. because then I'm not getting in trouble with my vegan and vegetarian <laughs> Which um, I happen to be, so, I'm, so I appreciate there you that. Go. Yes. So just pick your favorite broth. Right. Or you make your own if you have a weekend where you've got nothing better to do. Sure. Right? That's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I will pick but my there, favorite broth. There you go. Yes. There, there are really delicious broths um, out ready to, um, like in powder form, mm, okay. I, I would suggest. All right, perfect. As long as you do your fresh veggies sauteed as a, as a base with it too. Any broth that you like the flavor yep. of will be perfect. We'll do, okay. Mm -hmm. And so now you're just simmering? Yes, we're just going to bring it to a okay. boil, let it cook until it's really soft because yep. you don't want harsh pieces in a pureed soup. Okay. And we'll make some toppings uh, to make the soup a little bit more of a substantial meal. Awesome. For the croutons that we will be adding mm -hmm. to one of the soup, I'm using a sourdough bread mm -hmm. that I just tear in little pieces, oh, wow. my very favorite, and I make sure they don't go too, too dark. I love toasted sourdough for croutons. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that, what kind of oil do you have that in, Esther? Olive oil. Olive and oil. I'm going to be adding a little bit of butter. Oh, yeah. Can't be too healthy. That's well, boring, Butter does you know? make it better, let's just be honest. Butter is good for you. <laughs> I love butter. I would say butter and bacon, but I know you're not <laughs> going to be a friend of me then, so <laughs> we'll leave that bacon out. Yes. So again, uh, do you have that on low, medium? On high. On high. No, just, I just as long as I can it. stay there, watch it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Oh. And it's just butter and olive oil. That's butter and olive oil. That's it. Wow. 
Tegan, I think we often complicate things, don't we? By adding too many things. Too many things, yeah. or thinking that you have to do too many steps. Well, and then sometimes that turns out beautifully. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the simple things work right. just as well. Yeah. You want to just watch that you're not burning them, but other than that, this is really simple. Right. And there is no comparison. Uh, people might wonder why you do your own croutons. When you taste them later, you'll, you'll see there is absolutely no comparison right, to, to store-bought sure. croutons. Right? I'm sure once you get used to these, you can't go back. They're very difficult I, to I go back. I would have a hard time yes. with that, yeah. There are exceptions, though, I have to say, and I'm going to be bragging. We make some croutons in the restaurant at Fresh Affair from, uh, from our breads, mainly from the ciabatta breads and the bretzel bun, mm -hmm. and they are good. Yes. They are really tasty. But they're made fresh every well, day, right? I was going right? to say, they're not yes, sitting, that's uh, not. In boxes for months. Right. You have all kinds of things happening here. Yeah. It's very exciting. <laughs> it won't be long. These are done, and then we're going to put the enoki mushrooms in that same pan just to um, fry them a little bit, saute them a little bit to go on top of the cauliflower soup. Tell me again how to pronounce these mushrooms. Enoki is Inoki what I'm mushrooms. saying. I'm yeah. hoping that's oh, correct. No. I believe you. So why do you choose enoki mushrooms versus <laughs> any other kind? Um, I, I take turns with my mushrooms. I you love do. them all. Okay. And um, Sometimes, I mean, you have a different shape, which is kind of cute. Yes, I know. And these are adorable. Right? Yeah. Um, the flavor <laughs> is slightly different. The flavor is slightly different for it each. It is. Yes. For each mushroom. Sure. Yes. Uh, shiitake being one of my favorites, really. Shiitake is. Yeah, sorry. So, again, just a little olive oil. Mm-hmm. And they won't be long. We just don't want them raw. Right. I've never tried those mushrooms. So no, do I, you want to try one? Yes. yes. Look, I saved it's one. It's so cute. Taste okay. it. Give them a touch of salt. It has a lovely flavor. It's a mushroom, it's, right? But it's, 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 a, it's a mild. Light. It's just, yeah, it's light. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. A little salt. I like it. Yeah, good. Lucky you, because like I will uh, yes. have you eat those on, that <laughs> on top of your soup soon. <laughs> And I've never put mushrooms on top of a soup, so see, I'm, oh. just, I'm learning so much. So for the roux, and we'll use that to thicken the um, broccoli soup. Okay. We're melting some butter, and all you really need to remember is the same amount of butter as flour. Oh, goes roughly, so it's 50 /50. roughly 50-50. Okay, goes in your little pan. I'm going to give it a bit of a stir. You add a little bit at a time. Yeah, you just stir, or, or all at once, as yeah. long as you stir it. Don't don't let it go lumpy. Right. And then we're adding some broth. Oh, okay. And it'll become kind of like a like a paste. Oh. See how it thickens. Awesome. And you just keep stirring. Oh, so you've added quite a bit of broth. Yeah, and we're probably going to add a little more once it heats up. Because it'll go thick. And once you add this to any liquid, mm -hmm. like your uh, pureed broccoli after, it'll mm -hmm. thicken up your soup. Okay. And you decide to what degree by adding X amount of the roux to it, right? right? Or if you have the right amount of roux ready in a pot, you can put your pureed soup into your oh, room. Right. Okay. Okay. Either way. Yes. There's probably a proper way. The pros will tell you, but since I'm not one, I, I to me, it doesn't make a difference. Mm, kind of a pro in my eyes, Esther. Just you say. Well, not, not really. Not really. <laughs> You're modest. No, no. Just realistic. <laughs> so there, that's it. We'll let that come to a boil. Okay. And then it can simmer for a few minutes. So the raw flour uh, taste will go away, mm -hmm. and then it's ready to be used. Then you have your roux. Then you have your roux. I'm pureeing. You are pureeing. Look at you. So do you move it around, or you just leave it in one spot? You can move it around a bit, and you need to get your tomatoes in under your oh, stick okay. there. So like yeah, stick on. there we go. Gotcha. Woo! 
It's like playing Pac-Man or yeah, something. Just, just keep like... going, and I'm going to get you some basil to go in there. Because ah. we like oh, basil. So you're just throwing soup. fresh basil in there. Yeah. That is so exciting. And... Oh, it smells so good. I love basil. It? Yes. What we can do, too... Mm, look at that. If you like, and I know you don't mind cheese, we'll no. put a little bit of Parmesan Just right in there. Putting some it. Parmesan right in there. There you go. So awesome. Ooh, that fresh basil just smells delicious. Doesn't it? Look at me, I'm a master chef. Look at you. <laughs> you're all good. I think right? you're done. You think? Are you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We can look at that. one more just in case. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, mix around. I think that is perfect. Okay. All right. Let's see what it's what we need to add other than whipping cream, of course, which makes this a creamy tomato soup. I think that's pretty mm. good. Would you like more salt? I don't. I no. don't. No, not for me. No. I'm good too. I'm I love it. Too. I, think I wouldn't it's mind an beautiful. extra little bit of pepper. I'm, I'll adding, I'm adding some nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. I see. Let's see how you like it then. Now, what do you have there? I've only seen nutmeg in a little spice container. Oh, already ground. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So this is a little this chunk is just of the nutmeg. Whole, yeah. That's a nut. It's an actual Ouch. nut, you know? <gasps> I've never they, seen a nut, never nutmeg, seen, I'm telling you. Really? Well, you know Never what? in my We're whole gonna, life. I will, just for all the trouble you went through to so come here today, I'm going to gift you. Oh. Now, what's a nut, what's a whole nut called? Is it a nutmeg nut? Or what? That's something we've it would been be, found yes. about. Yes. Oh, interesting. I guess it would be a up, nutmeg nut. And it's called a nutmeg. Which doesn't make sense to me because right. ground, it's called nutmeg, right? Of course. So why wouldn't it be a nutmeg nut? I think that you could argue that very valid point. This is yours to you. take home. I love my home. little gift. I, I literally. So this, this is the first time you own a nutmeg. It is. I'm so excited. I, I think that's very exciting. It doesn't take much to make me really happy, there and this go. did it. <laughs> a little bit of cream, yes. Okay, sure. And then. So now you don't need to use the mixer with that. You just put it right in after. Okay. I do, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to taste it again. Mm -hmm. I think that is Did just it change? wonderful. I think you taste the cream. Yes, definitely taste the cream. I don't know if I taste the nutmeg, to the be basil? honest with you. No, nope, that's I, good. You're not supposed to. Okay. It, it just if adds. it st stands out, mm -hmm. it's actually quite an intense, yes. borderline not so pleasant okay. flavor, but yeah. it gives it some depth. So I, I'm a nutmeg fan. I love it. Good. I so love it. So we leave it alone and we leave it as it is. Yes. So here we go with our tomato, your creamy tomato soup. I know. Soup. I'm very proud of myself. You, and you said you don't cook that much. Right. I really? pureed Come on. That. This is, See. this is, look at it. I know. It's, it's pureed beautifully. It is, is it even <laughs> visible there? I don't know. It's, and it tastes really nice, it doesn't it? It tastes and how, amazing. how simple is it? Well, I, and I love it, and, right. and you you added some fresh basil leaves, just yep. plunk them right in there, and we pureed that, and mm -hmm. it was wonderful. It tastes delicious. And now wait till we have the garnishes in, because we're going to have some unripened cheese in there. We're going to have a little bit of pesto, maybe, whatever you like. Love pesto. So, But before we do that, we'll go uh, for a little break, and we'll be back to puree the other two soups and taste them, too. Awesome. Okay. Looking we'll forward see you to it. Bit. Here we go. Time to eat or taste it. Very exciting. Look at the colors. No, beautiful. I can't believe you made three soups in, in no time, right? Yes, incredible. Yeah, it's, it's simple. It's easy. Yeah. Well, yeah. now we have for look, you. <laughs> look at this. Now I want to take a picture. I love the colors. It looks fantastic. Can we see this? Green, as in broccoli. Mm -hmm. Red, as in tomato. And this we left a little. Chunky, so a little heartier. Mm. And if you like your cauliflower soup really white, mm -hmm. then skip the carrots in the sautéed vegetables that you use as a base. Right. I like the carrot flavor. Absolutely. I don't mind the, the yeah. color sprinkles in it. But if you see a white, white cauliflower soup, it's because it's only onion going in. Right. Maybe a bit and of celery, but no carrot. Okay. And oh, since, no, I love we, the combination. since we pureed it, you get that orangey color from the carrots mm -hmm. all through, right? Yeah. So, Fabulous. what are we going to do 
to them. Let's start. Mm, we need a knife for the mozzarella. You like cheese, you said. Love right? cheese, yes. So we'll do a bit of mozzarella. What did I do? I don't know. Oh, something fell. We'll find it later. All right. Put that right in the center. Oh, interesting. And put. So you just put a nice chunk of mozzarella, raw mozzarella, is it? Yeah, yeah. it's yes. an unripened, unripened or semi-soft. Right. Yeah. Right. In um, that bowl, that's tomato. Mm. There's the what did we want to put on the broccoli? I don't know. What do you want to put on the broccoli? I know the enoki <laughs> we were gonna put on the cauliflower. On the, right. So the broccoli needs cheese definitely, right? So we'll use cheese curds. Cheese curds. Rather than finely grated, mm -hmm. a little bit more bite. Here we go. And Very nice. for the cauliflower, we'll have the mushrooms. So you just, you, you can choose your toppings. Oh, absolutely. Whatever you, whatever, whatever you, you like. like. Yeah. Whatever you like. I've never, I've um, never put toppings on soup. No, I love it now because yes. it makes it a meal rather right. than just something exactly. soupy, right? And so mushrooms and, and cauliflower, I think, are a nice combination. Absolutely. So this, um, we need... Oh, I think this little bit of pesto we made earlier will do well on the tomato. Now, this is fancy. That's pretty, isn't it? This is... It's all colors. Extraordinary. There you go. But I love that you just... Even just by adding a little bit of these extra ingredients, you've just... It brings it from a quick soup to right. a... Right. Yum, right? To a phenomenal, And the fantastic. eyes are important. Like, we, well, look we, at we this. like looking at things this we eat. This is a picture. We need pictures of yes, this. Yes, we do. Right it would be nice to have a camera that has yes. it all on camera, right? <laughs> If you do like fresh tomatoes mm -hmm. in your tomato soup, I like that. They give a bit of crunch and a bit of raw tomato to it. Um, parsley for, sorry. No, I was going to say, it would have never occurred to me to add just some chunks of raw tomato into a tomato soup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. No. Pref it's all preference. And we have croutons. I think they want to go with the broccoli and the cheese. How's that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. Those croutons are, They're oh good, my goodness, they? yes, so delicious. And you said you love to use what kind of bread? Sourdough yeah, bread. Sourdough bread. And I want lots, so I'm going to do what I would do in my, yeah. on my plate. So yeah. you have spoons to your right, so we're going to get you to taste them. I get to taste them? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to make my exactly. own, too, because I'm going to eat a little bit. So I don't have to share this? This is all for me? This is all yours. This is all for me? All yours. I love it. All yours. I love Go it. Go for it. Okay. So what Soup am I going to have? These here? Go ahead. <laughs> Anything you like. Great. I'm should I, start should I, I, I should do the right thing. Put my napkin. You should. Yes. I should offer you a seat, too. I'm okay. Look, today we're not allowed. I was yeah, told. Yeah, I know. So I heard that. Yeah, I'll okay. just put my napkin right here just in case go. I need it. There we go. One cheese. But I want to wait for you for the soup. I'll no, wait go ahead. Go. Are you you have three to taste. Yeah, you two. have a lot of work ahead of you. So I love this. Parsley okay. we had on this. Let's and see. I'm going to mix it up and put my croutons in the tomato soup. How's that? Mm. I'm going to reach here. Sorry. So and I'm not just saying this because I'm so happy to be your guest, but I have never tasted such a flavorful tomato soup ever. Good, and you made it. And I made it. You made it. I'm so proud there of you. There you go. You have to do that at home. I'm a pepper fan, so I'm going to uh, yes. add you too. I love pepper. Would you pepper. like some Absolutely. pepper? Absolutely, yes. Makes I love a pepper. difference. It really does. Especially, I find with tomato. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave it here for you to use thank another Thank you, thank you. Things. This tomato Cheers. soup is beautiful. It really is. Mmm. Yes, it is nice. You must admit. It is. You did a good job. You did a good job. Very good. And the mozzarella doesn't hurt, does it? No, I'm going to take a chunk of that. But did you have mozzarella in it? Yes, you did. Yes, yeah, yes. we did the cheese curds in the broccoli. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is much more like a meal. It is. With, yeah. It is. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Okay, oh, hey. so let's try soup number two. Broccoli. Broccoli soup. Oh, I have to hurry. With cheese curds and... I'm going to grab sourdough them. croutons. I'm going to make a mini so I can keep up with mm. you. Mm, mm. One cauliflower. Oh my goodness. Oh, that Broccoli. is just fantastic. Yes. Works. So much flavor. Mm. Oh, let me try with the cheese first. Enoki on the cauliflower. Mm. Mm, 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 what mm. else did we have on? Oh, parsley. 
So yeah. so we can compare apples so to good. apples. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love those cheese curds too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They semi-melt when your soup is nice yes. and hot, but they still have a little bit of structure, texture. I love it. Yeah, it gives it a right? little, yeah, I like it. A little bite. More of a bite. Okay, now I'm very excited to try my new friend, mm-hmm. these little mushrooms. I think you need pepper on that, especially on those mushrooms. Mm. Pepper? I'll take a little pepper, mm-hmm. absolutely. But there, just absolutely delightful. Not bad at all. I am loving these little mushrooms. Good. I am. Good. I'm going to get some. Good. They, they are delicious. And we have well, a, how wonderful. a nice store in Berry now that carries all kinds of exotic mushrooms, you know. Mm. I'm very pleased about that. Thank you so much. What's your favorite? Which one? You know what? I, I'll have to go back and try them all again. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I love all three of them, and I would love to make one every week. Mm-hmm. It may be the tomato. It may be one, two, and three. But yet, I'm not certain, and I'm going to have to try again to make sure. Mm. You can also add meat or seafood mm-hmm. toppings. Not necessarily you yeah, personally, sure. but if you are a meat and seafood fish lover, um, shrimp on top of the broccoli, um, chicken on top, roasted chicken pieces on top of your tomato soup. Amazing. Phenomenal. Well, my family right. would love that. Per- well, right. let me know how there that you go. goes I, over. I am going to do maybe, this, I promise. Um, maybe we'll have you back and you tell us all about how it went. I would love, just give me a little bit of time. Okay. <laughs> I have to learn how to how to do all of this, but I thank you so much. This has been you've given like soup a whole new meaning for me. Perfect. Really. And you did all the work. I love it. Thank you for oh, coming. You're, you're most back. welcome. Oh, and so thanks for hard. watching. <laughs> We're gonna see you soon. Thank you. Okay.